Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something so exciting. Um, I am going to be showing you guys how I turned my glass vases to a full ceramic textured vase using paint and baking powder. No, you can use baking powder too, but I'm gonna use baking soda. <music> When you add baking soda to any kind of paint, it just changes the consistency of it and the texture of it. So, and then you put that on the vase, it just makes it look like a full ceramic vase and they can be expensive, but I went to my local thrift store, uh, Value Village, and I just loved, I got lost in their uh, home aisles oh their decor is like i just love thrifting because you can find items in the thrift store that you wouldn't find in any other store and they're pretty good if you are a good thrifter you can find awesome awesome things so i was just going for the vases because i knew i wanted to do this project so i picked about two or three and um, i have one more that i wanted to change that i already had before so I want to experiment this and I'm going to show you guys what I will be using. So for paint, I went to Lowe's and I asked for their sample uh, paint. They're about five bucks, a little bit more than five bucks. So you pick out your color and then they make you a sample. It's about this big. I'm going to show you guys that too. And then I'm just going to add uh, baking pa baking soda. I keep saying baking powder. I'm going to add baking soda to it and then I'm going to go ahead and start with the painting process. But before that, I wanted to show you guys the, vas the vases that I got. Vases, vase, vase, vase. However you say it. Okay, so the first one I wanted to show you is this little one. It's not a glass, but I, I love the shape of it. It's actually so cute the way it is, but I wanted to change it a little bit and this one was $3.99 and it's so cute it's it's a little heavy actually um, so I'm gonna be changing this one and I can't wait to see how it is going to turn out then the second one I got is this glass one it's pretty big um, this one was $2.99 so you see how you you can get um, pretty massive look at it next to my head it's pretty big you can get a big face uh, at a thrift store for such a good price. I mean, $2.99 is honestly not so bad. So the third one is this one here. I love the shape of it. And this one was $1.99, so you really can't go wrong with that. But they have such a variety at uh, the thrift store. When, when you walk into the vase and decorative item aisle, you can find so much. You can find picture frames, you can find anything to on honestly change. Um, so my last one I wanted to show you guys, it is this one here. Uh, this was gifted to me, but I wanted to change it a little bit. I love the shape of it. It's so massive. I have to put it sideways for you guys to see it. Um, I love the shape of it, but the color just doesn't really go with anything in my house right now. So I wanted to change it a little bit so I could use it for my downstairs as well when I start decorating it. So um, let's go ahead and start with the painting. So I took my small bowl and this is what I was going to use to mix my baking soda and also my um, paint in. And I just wanted to show you guys the color. Uh, once it was opened and uh, I'm going to be leaving down in the description box the name of the paints that I used and um, the brand of them so I first wanted to go ahead and stir the paint very well before I poured it in the bowl now um, I was eyeballing everything because I just don't measure <laughs> but uh, you can eyeball it and the consistency that you're looking for is pretty much like applesauce but you can also make it thicker or thinner depending on your own taste obviously so here I put about 
two teaspoons and, and some I literally eyeballed everything so I put it in the bowl and then I mixed it and to paint I used my um, foam brush brush did such a good job as you can see it just goes on so easy and also the vase has some creases in them and I was able to go right in there and make sure that I covered up everything so I did about two coats on each one and I made sure that I let them dry completely before I went over them and did a second coat So for my second vase, I um, took the lighter uh, blue. It, they have blue undertone in them. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the exact name down below. It was like a grayish, light bluish um, color. So I mixed it up the same way I did the first time with a baking soda. And then I went ahead and I started to paint um, over the my glass vase this one was so easy because he had it was just smooth all around so I was able to um, paint it pretty quickly and also the way it changed the, the vase it was just so amazing I really really loved how these turned out and so stay till the end of the video so I can show you guys exactly how they turned out third one um, this one obviously it's not the glass one but he painted so well as well um, so I ended up mixing two colors actually the paint was a bit too light uh, for my liking so I ended up mixing in a little bit of the first color that I used the darker uh, bluish um, teal color and it made this color right here and um, yeah so I just went ahead and I painted over and he, the coverage was really good as you can see it has a lot of blacks and other details on the vase itself but even with the first coat you could really see that it had a good coverage so because this one is not glass I ended up going in deeper in the opening to make sure that um, nothing was showing through once I was done painting it
from this angle here, you can see the colors a whole lot better. Um, as you can see, the second um, paint color that I did, the second base, you can see it's a little bit light. It's almost like an off-white, so um, I'm so happy that I got to kind of tint a little bit the third one because they were really, really close in color. Um, so yeah, these vases turned out so good. This is just when they're still drying and this is the first coat. As you can see, it did pretty good. The coverage is really, really good. So um, once I added the second coat, it really made it stand out so good. It just made it look really, really ceramic. So for my fourth one, it was the big vase that I showed. Um, I didn't get to show it on camera. I forgot to um, film it, but it turned out really good. And for that one, I used a white uh, paint that we already had and I made it a little thicker and that's what I was just showing you guys. But I ended up going back and um, adding a, a third coat on it with um, a lighter consistency because the first one was really, really thick. So. I wanted to go over it with something lighter. 